Hey, what's up? This is Mike Acosta coming at you from the 2007 Winter NAM show right here in Anaheim, California, showing you the brand new MV8800 by Roland. First off, what you can see, it's got a great new color scheme to it, so it's perfect when you're on stage working in dark conditions. The MV8800 features a 40 gigabyte hard drive, 2.5 inch, so it's a little bit smaller, faster load times and saving times on the projects. Also comes with 400 megabytes of brand new sounds, including the classic vintage drum collection, which features a lot of classic drum machines from the early 80s, all built right into the MV8800. Also, you get guitar sounds, piano sounds, orchestration sounds, vocal effects, all that great stuff comes stock inside the unit. Also, you get 128 megabytes of RAM out of the box, and you can expand that to 512 and uses PC-133 uh, DIMM or PC-100 DIMM. As far as the MV8800 itself with the sequencer, um, you can see that it's very easy using the VGA card, which comes stock. So now every MV8800 out of the box comes with the VGA and mouse expansion built right on board. When you hook it up to a computer monitor here, you see that you have full integration just like you would on a typical DAW computer system, like Logic, Pro Tools, anything like that. It's very easy to maneuver around the MV in here and make your music. So what I'll do is I'll just do some sequencing. We'll go through some of the cool features on the MV. Sequencing is pretty simple. Just hit record, choose the track you want to be on, give yourself a two measure count in. Then what I could do is actually hit the rehearsal button and I can navigate through the MV checking out other tracks. I can try other drum kit sounds, still keeping the, re the MV in the record mode but act without actually recording the notes that I'm inputting. So it lets me actually test things out, keep the groove going. So what I'll do is I'll go up to another track, drop it back into record. Then what I can do is navigate down. And if you notice right down here at the bottom, I have external instruments. So if I have a laptop hooked up and I run and I want to run a bunch of plugins and things like that, I can have those running simultaneously and have the MV sequence those as well. So down here you can see in the screen, we'll switch it right here. And what I'm using right here is it's a simple AU host program. And right off to the side here, you can see that I have couple of plugins running like BFD running some percussion we got Rapture running and all of these all I do is go back on the MV and in the track parameter here we can easily assign any of the MIDI outs to the MIDI interface on my laptop and have full control over those sounds so let's select one of the plugins here on the MV to record again and let it circle back around and it's very easy to just use an external keyboard controller we're using the Ederol PCR 300 We can go over to BFD, arm it to record, put in some percussion. So now we got a little percussion going on there. Arm another plug in. Okay, so now we got a simple loop going here. And the MV works great because it boots up into an automatic pattern mode, but the MV8800 is awesome because it lets you run it in either a linear sequence form or you can work in pattern mode. Depending on how you like to sequence your music, you, can you get the best of both worlds on the MV. So what I can do here is we have two ways of recording. I can either select these, do copy and paste, tell it to go to measure five and tell it how many times I want to copy. And boom, there we go. Full linear sequencing right there. Or I can take this, right click, copy as a new pattern and drop it into a pattern list. We can overwrite that and that allows me now to go here and erase this, press the pattern mode button on the MV8800 and now we're in the dedicated pattern mode and here's my pattern list. There's the first pattern, we can preview it. And if you notice, the pattern automatically gets assigned to one of the pads on the MV which is cool for automatically triggering back the, uh, the sequence. What I can also do now is copy this pattern to part two there, select it, make another copy, select, drop it in. 
select the second one here and maybe on this one what we can do is take out the drum parts go back to the list call this up and maybe on this part what we'll do is we'll take out one of the plug-in instruments and take that out so now we'll jump back into our song mode go right on our pattern track and here we have access to the sequences now If I want to record this in, I have two ways that I can do this. I can either step record them in, and there you can see my whole song is laid out now with the uh, track spread out there on the pattern track, or I can undo this, and a very cool new thing that we have on the MV8800 is the real-time recording of the pattern track. So now I can arm this to record. Now if we play it back, and everything gets automatically quantized with the automatic input quantize on the pattern track, which is very cool. Now, the uh, MV8800 also has very cool time stretching features, so if I want to take a simple track, maybe take like a vocal phrase, play this. Okay, we can tell that the vocal phrase is off from the pattern, so very easily we hit quick edit, go right down here to this BPM sync function, and boom, automatic time stretching right on the fly. I can go right back out to my sequence and just drop that phrase right in there. Now, if I want to actually change the tempo in real time, we can do that as well. Check this out. Drop it down. Okay, only the timing changes. The pitch and the vocals stay exactly the same. Now, if we want to actually change pitch, we have the power of that on the MV8800 as well because I can easily double click on the vocal track here and let's say maybe I change the keys that I was playing. All I have to do is take this chorus tune and I can detune her by two. <laughs> Very easy to make it adjust to whatever it is that I'm doing on the MV, and this goes for any real-time audio tracks that you record in here as well. You have full real-time time stretching at any point in this machine, and that's one of the very cool features that comes in the MV8800. Once you're done with your entire song, again, you have 128 MIDI tracks out here, you have 8 audio tracks, and you can have full-on vocal tracks in here so you can see what a whole song would look like. Once you're done with everything, simply hit the mix down mode, hit yes, press record, gives it a file name, start it. You can let this go on, finish recording your whole song, put vocals in here. No like, mm. that's what I'm gonna do. Who needs a getaway car? I got a travel agent. You got no clue like passengers on a slave ship. The best kept secret like you laid up in the grave with it. Looking for that brand new toy. Just wanna play with I'm talking about that rolling brand. Even was a user to roll joints for the clan. I'm just here to When you're done, just hit stop. It'll ask you, do you wanna go into mastering? Hit yes. Boom, here you go. Full-on mastering capabilities, just like you would find on any of our great VS recorders. Multi-band compression, multi uh, parametric EQing. And if you don't know how to engineer, not a problem, because the MV8800 comes packed with a bunch of presets to master your song and give you that finished, demo-ready uh, master. So check a pre-master here. You can use this if you're going to send your song to maybe get mass duplicated in a CD uh, production place. Select pre-master, loads it up, Parametric EQ, multiband compression, all set to go. Once you run it through here, then it takes you to the final process, which would be right here, create the audio CD. The MV8800 will burn a complete audio CD of your full mixed down song that you can play in any car stereo or any home stereo. It's demo ready, you can hand it off to that label, get that record deal. This is the brand new MV8800, lots of very cool new features. This is 2007 winner NAMM show. If you want more information, there's more videos with how to get started on this with a turbo start and the MV8800 overview video already on the Roland US website. See you soon.